Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. We're back on the A100 and we're going to rebuild the horn. And this applies to any Edison diamond disc. This is the tracking device. This has to float, has to be loose right here, right there. But you want to just come in and to be safe, you just give a little shadow well right there, right there. Wipe off a little excess. It goes like that. Next, you want to flex hone this hole. This is where the lift handle fits in. What I do is on the belt sander, I just grind off a little bevel on the edge that helps us go in. You need to clean all this, flex hone in here, because we have a slot which goes into this screw, and you want this to be able to just uh, slide in smoothly. You want it to do like this. Okay, you we'll put it in, it'll go boop. Just like that. That's what you want. So now how do we assemble it? On the tracking device, we have this pin that goes through. We have a spring. And then that goes into this hole. Lift up. Hit the hole. Hold this in place. Take a square nut. I pre-oiled them on off camera. Let's tighten that up a little. You want this horizontal because we're going to have to adjust this later down the road, and it's going to it can become tricky. That'll just hold that. See, this is what it has to do like that. Now, what we're going to do. On the previous videos of the machine, I said that the screw that goes in the slot, there wasn't one. So I, on the belt sander, I sanded down the nut that was in there so it'll fit perfectly into the slot like this. This is very critical. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put in the base piece here. We want to do this so it'll come apart one day. So we're going to take some wonderful anti-seize, this silvery aluminum oil junk. And we're going to put just a little on it like that. And rub it around with your fingers. That goes in here. So a small punch, piece of metal. This is the horn height adjustment. Now we have the anises working in the threads, which is great. We're going to put in a square nut here. We're going to leave that loose. We're going to hit the threads when you dial it in. The other two screws in the lip and the lift lever mechanism will be done later. Now what you're going to do is go over to the phonograph. With some sewing machine oil. I want to clean out the... height adjustment piece. The bottom of the horn fits into here. We're just going to give it a little dab of sewing machine oil. And we're going to come in. Turn the horn around. And then drop it into there like that. And that's all there is to it. And we're going to leave this sit here like this now. Next, we're going to build the rubber cushioners for the motor and we're going to put the motor in. Then the hard part comes because we're going to have to do the height adjustment with the reproducer and that's my tip for the day.